Day by Day, presented by First Community Credit Union. Life is better with community. In agriculture, every season is different. It takes hard work, determination, and passion to keep a farm or ranch going year after year. At First Community Credit Union, we know and understand that passion for agriculture. Our local staff can help farmers and ranchers invest in new equipment, expand their operations, and prepare for whatever challenges may lie ahead. Together, we can achieve success now and for generations to come. First Community Credit Union, rooted in your future. What a great time of year, you know, season opener at home. We're really excited to get going and I'm excited to watch our guys to put it to the test. You know, that's what it is about on Saturday afternoon, our first test of the year. Great fall camp's been a ton of improvement and, and strides made by our guys, but nothing like game week and, and going against a new opponent there. We got to figure out how they come in and how they play, stuff like that. I feel like we left out of, off on a bad note come uh, Weber State, so I feel like we got a bad taste in our mouth. So we want to set the tone come Saturday and try to win and dominate our opponent. It's really exciting. I mean, we got a lot of changes this year. We're excited to get out there Saturday in front of the Alaris Center. Should be should be a packed barn, and we're excited to get there and, and lay some wood uh, per se on defense side of the ball. So we're excited. It'll be an awesome day on Saturday. It's nice to have a new opponent in there, but we're keeping the focus mainly on us throughout the week here and wanting to know hey, who we're going to be, how we're going to do things, what we're going to do and then doing it at a high level and doing a good job executing it with it. So the focus has been more on us, obviously sprinkling in some Drake stuff in there, understanding what they do a little bit, but it's ultimately it's more about how we do things and what we're gonna do. We're really emphasizing keeping it simple but multiple. So we got a lot of different ways to run things. We're trying to get lined up, communicate, and just play fast. We got an emphasis on getting the ball out this year because last year we kind of struggled with creating turnovers, and we all know creating turnovers leads to wins if you win the turnover battle, so we're really emphasizing that on the defensive side of the ball this year. I feel like this offense is way explosive. You got me, Bo, Wes, everybody else who contribute can contribute into the offense. I feel like this offense is way, gonna be way more explosive this year than last year. Some teams say and the announcers say, oh, it's kind of, it's a week one struggle. Um, we, we don't believe in that. Um, we want to be disciplined, we want to be sharp, and we want to put our best foot forward on tape here to start the year, and that'll just snowball effect, lead us into week two, week three, um, and get going here with the season. Yeah, I'm just so excited to get back out there with the guys. Um, we can't wait to get out there and, and show what we can do in front of our, our supporters, our family, and loved ones. So yeah, we're just really excited to get back out there. Sammy Fort's been, been here day one for me. Since I got onto campus, Sammy's been a leader and a role model uh, for me. Um, he's become one of my best friends. I grew up in Lynn, Massachusetts. I lived there for uh, 17 years and then I moved to Oklahoma. I lived there for a little bit. And I went to Virginia, boarding school, so, and then I came to Grand Forks. My mom lives in Iowa, so on vacations I go and visit her but I spent most of my time in Lynn, so it's kind of what I claim. You get to meet a lot of different people, a lot of different cultures, different music, things like that. So I like that it happened to me. I wouldn't change anything. I love everywhere that I live. So yeah, it's been cool. Being from Canada myself, Sammy's kind of um, cultured me a lot because on his locker it says Lynn, Massachusetts, but you ask him and he's been, he's been Oklahoma, he's been Virginia, he's been Massachusetts, he's been everywhere. So me being a Canadian, I can kind of ask him a lot of questions. I've learned a lot about the United States, culture, a lot of different things. So he's a great guy, he's one of my best friends, and I'm just really excited for him this season. I wanted to find something that I knew there would be a lot of, a lot of jobs in the field, and I felt like cybersecurity is a growing field, and there's a lot of opportunity there for me whenever I hang up the cleats. So yeah, it's been cool so far. I'm excited to keep learning more. I got four classes this semester, so I'm excited. It's a lot of information, so as long as you just study, kind of like 
kind of like we're watching film. You just got to watch a lot of film, and eventually you, uh, you, you'll figure it out. He's a guy that's always watching film or watching multiple games on a Saturday after our game. He'll tell me about some game that he watched late on a Saturday night. And he's, uh, he's a sharp guy. He's great to have in the room there. And at the safety position, that's kind of what you're looking for, is guys that are kind of the quarterbacks back there that are you know, communicating, getting lined up, and, and taking control of things back there. Sammy's been around a long time and just love what he brings to our program. A real positive guy, and real team guy. And, you know, the recruiting process was really something else. We were in a, a lot of recruiting battles for him there, and then in the end we ended up getting him. Obviously, we were excited to get him into our, our recruiting class there, and then uh, started off as a corner, which he saw some playing time early on as the, the corner, but then we saw ultimately probably his skill set would translate best at safety, so he ended up moving there, and then he's kind of found a home there, and then had the unfortunate injury a year ago, so he's been chomping at the bit to get back here, and, and I know it's been just itching at him to, to get back on the field and, and go uh, contribute to the team. You know, it was so disappointing to see him go down last year. Didn't even get through one game, and then it's a long rehab process. Yeah, uh, I was trying to make an open field tackle. I uh, took, a, took a poor angle, tried to, tried to plant, and I just felt my knee completely give out on me. I knew what the injury was right away. Kind of just hopped up and tried to hobble to the sideline. Rarely does he have a bad day, but you could tell when that, when that injury happened, it really took a lot out of him there, but like he said, like his positive attitude kind of probably pushed him through there to be able to get back and, and to get back into the mindset of getting ready to go and, and getting himself ready for this year. The last 12 months, they were difficult. There was ups, there was ups and downs. It was like a roller coaster. Uh, I won't lie, it was definitely tough to stay positive because you, you don't know if you're going to be the same player and be able to do, this, uh, do the same things you were able to do in the past. So uh, I just leaned on my teammates, coaches, family, and my faith, and I just I had to stay positive and knew I was going to be back. Sammy's a really tough guy. I was in there with him PT every day. He's, gr he's a grinder. He's never going to quit. Um, he's very positive. So it's awesome to see a guy like that be ready to go here week one. And I'm excited what he's going to do this season. Just really excited for him personally. And I know a lot of guys on the team are really pulling for him and waiting to get him back out there on Saturday afternoon. I'm super excited to get back out there in the Alaris. It's, it's a special place to me. Uh, it's obviously where I played my first college game. and was against Drake in uh, 2019. So it's just a full circle. I can't wait to get back out there. I love that place.